So, did you know that Apex Legends Mobile is coming soon? Yes, welcome back to another video, guys, and we got a lot of information to cover today. There's a lot of information that indicates that Apex Legends Mobile soft launch could be dropping any single day now. If you guys are excited, stop what you're doing, hit a like, and tell me what day you think it's going to drop. If you get it right, I'm definitely getting you that date with Loba. <laughs> now, let's get into it. Okay, so I want to start this video off just with a little meme, guys, to make you guys laugh. Uh, yeah. This is pretty much how the whole community feels right now. Apex Mobile Community, Apex Legends Mobile, Soft Launch Date, Apex Mobile Community, and Respawn just hugging us and taking us away. We're all feeling the pain, boys, but don't worry. Hopefully, it's going to drop any day now, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. So there's a lot of small things now that are emerging that we've definitely seen before in the previous closed betas. So the first thing I actually want to talk about is the Twitter post from official EA accounts. There has been an EA Latin America account that always posts Soon, basically, before on the previous closed basis, they posted tweets, uh, basically, that was saying that the, the next beta is coming very soon, and they've started to do that again over the last few weeks. This is good news. Again, these are official EA accounts, official team members that are posting this, so it hints that, you know, again, it is around the corner. So the next little thing I want to talk about is a Twitter account called Hitmarker. They're basically like a job listings website where they advertise new job roles, and recently, over the last few days there has been a lot of jobs that have emerged for the apex legends mobile team over in vancouver canada this is very good news again i showed you guys this last year where on the ea website and respawn website they kept increasing the jobs and they kept booming up the team and it looks like they're really going hard now i mean they've had the same team for quite a while now but with these recent job listings it shows that they're expanding and it means that you know again the soft launch could be very very closer and they're getting ready basically for global which as we all know is looking to be around the middle of this year. On top of that, if you go over to the EA website, the help desk website, they've actually updated the Apex mobile page, which is an answers HQ page. Now this page basically gives you answers on everything Apex mobile related. You can find in there, you know, top answers, um, sort of preparing to play. You can make sure your e-account is hardware ready for Apex Legends mobile. There's, there's a lot of forums on there that basically help with everything. And it's a pretty cool image that they've posted on the background of there so again all of these small little things that have finally being added now is all leading up to the global launch now i'm gonna dive even further for you guys okay for the last few days me and imo we have been pretty much just checking the app non-stop to check you know what's happening with it it could drop any day now so we're on point making sure we're checking if the, the game comes out and we're ready to you know stream it and stuff basically we noticed uh, a few days ago that well since you download the app if you try and load into the app right now it will come up with this image which shows that the client version is too old please download the latest version this means that all we need to do guys if you've got the game installed we just gotta wait for the soft launch to drop for the servers to open and it's you you should get an update on your google play store you can update the game and we'll be able to play it now a couple of days ago me and owen recently saw that uh, it come up with something slightly different it come up with a failed to log in screen which shows here failed to connect to the server please try again later erico 201 now this means that the team are basically running tests on the game. They're running sort of test servers to see how, you know, how well they work. And we already know this basically, guys, before, right? Because over the last month, we've also seen updates on the Google Play Store on the internet browser. They actually just recently, today, updated another one again, February 17th. That's four updates within one month on the Google Play Store behind the scenes. So this could indicate that the game... I believe is fully ready we've got the game it is ready but it's all about stress testing servers now and testing it in the regions that are going to be available for soft launch which we already know just keep holding the fort guys okay it is any day now if it doesn't come out i mean if you think about it there were some leakers that were mentioning that the actual global launch or the soft launch ends around the end of may or the middle of may if that's the case then you know i've always said that soft launches can have to be out for you know two to three three months before global launch to fully test the game and to fully be ready for when we go into global so if we're looking at that and it's around may time that that happens then the soft launch either has to drop by the end of this month or it definitely has to drop in march 
any later than March, then we really do need to start getting worried. But with all these recent updates, I don't think that's the case, guys. It's either going to drop the end of this month, towards the end of this month, or the beginning of March. Those are my personal predictions. Again, they're not fully, they are just predictions. They're not fully confirmed. But based on all the research and everything that's happening with the game right now, especially on socials and every all the updates we're getting on the Google Play Store, it shows that the game is pretty much going to drop any day now, which happened in all of the closed betas as well. We got all of this just before the closed beta just about to drop. So it's good that we're seeing a lot of this now. And we can finally stop using this image right here, which was created by my boy Zach Wilder, Soon Legends Mobile. So, uh, Let's get a little hype train and a comment train in the comments right now. Soon it let soon Legends Mobile in the comments right now, boys. Go. But make sure you hit a like as well. Now there's one more quite important thing I want to go over, guys, okay? On Twitter, we'll notice that there's a lot of leak accounts for Apex Legends Mobile, and recently it actually emerged that there was an account that dropped the in-game trailer for the Apex Legends Mobile past beta. Now this account has now been suspended and been banned and the video has been removed, but a lot of people have seen it. I mean, we've pretty much all seen the gameplay trailer now. It's uh, it's an amazing trailer. I've been speaking with Respawn and I'm, I'm sharing all of this with them as well. We're trying to keep tabs and keep everything on lockdown, but the trailer that's actually been leaked is, uh, is one of the in-game sort of starting trailers. I don't think this is the official trailer. I think we're going to get a, an even better official trailer when the game fully gets marketed properly. Um, so, just be aware guys okay that twitter actually got taken down it got removed they probably got into heavy trouble doing that so just a disclaimer please be careful when you're posting leaks about you know stuff that shouldn't be leaked okay i know people are gonna do it i've done it before in previous games but obviously being an ea partner i can't do it as much now or at all so i would just be careful again okay, guys i just wanted to bring that up so that's basically the end of this video i hope uh, you guys have enjoyed it again i'm just buzzed guys okay any day now the game is gonna drop so make sure you're subscribed make sure you like make sure you go follow the twitter as well because we update that all the time uh, with updates so you don't have to wait for one of these videos to come out and let me know in the comments what you guys think so that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace